Greetings and salutations, everybody. Lord X here. And I'm playing How to Fool Boyfriend again. This time, not the PC version. The reason why my previous How to Fool Boyfriend series didn't continue was the fact that, well, my save kind of shat it itself. Didn't work anymore. But now the game's released for PlayStation 4. So I'm going to live stream the shit out of this thing. Well, as much as I can, anyway. So, welcome to St. Pidgey Nations. Please enter your name. So, what will be my first name? My first name, of course, is Lord. My last name, of course, is X. Is Lord X okay? Yes. Yes, it is. Head of Old Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the prettiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Well, we want to see what their human form looks like, right? Wrong. Screw the human portraits. This game is about birds and birds it will be about. St. Pidgey Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through those gates. Or these gates. I should say, this school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pidgey Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Lord. Overset? I'm just gonna think... Now when they keep calling me Lord, I'm gonna think back to that episode of South... Or season of South Park where Randy was Lord, the singer. This rock dove is named Kawari Ryota. I'm just gonna call him Ryota because pronouncing that first name is awful. In my case. We're, uh, we've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I, can re I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! No good for being late on your first day. Or on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. How to Fold Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, for the pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every birdie. Er, I'm Nataki Kazaks Kazaki. I'm I'm gonna butcher these names all over again. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open.
The quill's name is Nakaki Kiz Kizaki. His, he's a famously surreal-perfect math professor. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shur Shurugin? What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I am here because I wish to be. Now, oh, well, I guess there's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into clacks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Sherogain? Huh. <laughs> Sherogain Leblanc Saka. And I have a message. <laughs> uh, is he? Welcome, viewers, by the way. Ta -da. It seems like this Fentel, or Fentel is Sharogain Sakura. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakura sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I have to, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is somebody looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, do you want something from me? Huh? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. This is the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to the book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm X-Lord, a sophomore. What about you? You're... Nagaki. For Fushimo Nagaki, freshman. Nagaki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think it's back to class. Wait, isn't that... Sakura, you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakura, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sukazi Yura, is Sakura's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Who? Huh? You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakura's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. 
This fantail pigeon is Sakura Yura, a upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the entire school. Every birdie knows of him. Your classic jock, kind of. Your lord, right? <laughs> Who did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakura's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd have never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? <laughs> he is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never met, heard anything like that about your Ezo. Probably a twisted, twisty business. Okay. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he just go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Wah! They've got all kinds of drugs in here. F party. Trife, loco benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? D -d 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 Doctor! Shu. Like Shuhei Yoshida. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? No, thank you. Mm, that nutcracker music. Creepy. This partridge is Awami Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person, and has a bad reputation amongst the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can you bring you down with those diseases. And I never even heard of him coming the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. Kara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come and find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Rayo's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never regret joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. You know, baseball, soccer, track, kindo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school. It's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room. Their club room is on the ground floor up to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> cool, cool. This is no pudding for a man. Cool. Okio-san rejects it. It is a lie. A fictitious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice of pudding. This is Okio-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. Either way, he's hyper. Cool, Okio-san has, has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool, Okio-san instructed that the pudding be provided for new members. Cool, but this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those trusted mums. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo hoo coo, spared the jest, young lady. Okay, I saw him used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo! They'll rule the day they cross Okiyo-san. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Coo! Okiyo-san is... Smokey-san must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! 
And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pidgey Nations. Er, I think we want to choose uh, choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Koo! Okio-san only has time for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiro Game? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism. Oh, don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Student Council? The track team? Or the library staff? I'm actually going to continue this like I did with my uh, previous PC playthrough. And I'm going to go with the track team because... Going with the track team we get to spend more time with Okio-san and... Find out more about his love of pudding. And he was extremely amusing to watch, so... For my first playthrough of this game, and I'm going to try and get all the trophies in this game eventually. So I'm going to go with the track team here. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an electric day, so what should I do? Attend... Math class, gym class, or music class? Well, we're going to join the track team, so we're going to go to gym class. I had to sit out and... Sit out the wing. I had to sit out the wing training, but it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Lord leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Yay! I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okio-san's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Coo! A lord appears! Is this challenge? Is this, is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, madame, and draw. A fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really, I want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Coo! He stands before you. Okio-san is the captain. And a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well. Here, my forms, thank you. Coo! A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence! To the entrance of an examination. There's an exam. Koo, of course. Track isn't daisy, chin making, messy. Koo, Okio san will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance. Um. Hell, we're going long distance. Koo, long distance. You've got guts. Let us begin. Koo, koo, on your mark. Get set. Go! How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. Koo, you're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Thanks. Koo, that's all, folks. And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Yes, we apparently live in a cave. Oh. Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far. So I don't have to... Well, health first. I think I'll just... I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Ryota, Sakura... We're going to talk to Okio-san. wonder where Okio-san went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Koo, koo, it's not here. The pudding is not here. Ah. It's missing. Did you did you bring it to eat for lunch? Koo, no, Okio-san believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Koo, Okio-san, well, I'll search elsewhere for the pudding. Zoom. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Today's an elected day. What should I do? Attend. Um... Let's build up our charisma a little bit. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. But this is what most art is all about, I guess. 
the puns are heavy here. And I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of this. I know uh, you guys can't actually see any of this right now. Right, save that screenshot, and now we're back. So uh, I do, <laughs> I do apologize that. Okay, PlayStation, you gonna stop notifying me now about these things? Okay, good. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigens on their heads. Do you seek to mock the great masters, lowborn Philistine? Lord, level up. Charisma increased by five. Yay, we got more charisma. Er, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Cool, Okio-san will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okio-san. What about you, Sakura? <laughs> you can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? There's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use some help if anybody can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota is doing the three light race. Okio san's running the marathon, and Sakura's a cheerleader. Yuya might be the first aid tent. What should I do? I have to think about it. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the three legged race, the marathon, the cheerleaders, the first aid tent, or the library. Screw the library. Screw the cheerleaders. Kind of one of these two. Either Ryota or with Okio san. Fuck it. Let's go with Okio san. The marathon. Cool, you're running the marathon too, Lord. Yep, someone needs to act as a female representative. Good luck, Okio san. Cool, cool. Never worry, never fear, okay, son. Never brings up the rear. Swift as the wind as usual. I think he came in first, but I can't see from here. I better do my best to. First barrier for all students to make it this far. The midterm exam. We're getting it back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. X! Yes? Um, I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too... Mm, nope, sorry, you did badly. <laughs> no... Try harder next time, okay? At this point, Master, Master Neki, I have to study more from now on. I built up my charisma instead. With the festival and midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Dubs smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh. There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Lord. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon. Crammed again. Brian? Don't tell me you didn't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He is the world's most famous blocker. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgeot Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adapted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Lord. I better hurry back to class. Hello, everybody. Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves on their wings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, what's going on? Okio-san and Sakura are... I look up to see the two of them age other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened to Ryota? Sakaya was making fun of Okio-san. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible. Whew, I need a drink of water. 
Ah, man. Either way, Okio-san kind of went for the jugular, and you tried to pull them apart, and Okio-san used wing attack on you. Yep. Your only hope now, Lord. <laughs> cool, cool, Okio-san will not allow you for pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word? I shall not. A mongrel like you has not even the right to speak to me. Cool, Okio-san is no mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should... Say with Okio-san? Skull Tempo. I'll say with Okio-san, of course. Sakura, it wasn't very nice. Just because you didn't know what Okio-san is talking about doesn't mean you can start throwing him. You... Yeah, are you siding with this mongrel rebel? Aren't you supposed to be a human? Cool, cool. Okio-san is resolved. Okio-san will end us now. He drops lows and prepares to strike with all his might. Cool. Giga drill beak. Yeah. Okay, son crashes into Sakura with a spinning body slam. Sakura goes flying into the hallway, bump bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Ooh, Okio san is a match for any aristocrat. Cool, cool. Okio san is a match for the mighty giants themselves. He puffs up his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangster pigeon. Wait, class is a bit stir. Okio san, come back. Break is over. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the store, the infirmary, or the cafeteria. Let's let's go to the store. I didn't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already. Yuya! No, that's not it. I'm still in high school. That may be so, but you know, we does reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, where are you going to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My, I... Yuya, that's... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Yeah, let it slide. It's not like it's surprising coming from him. Today's in like today. What should I do? Attend? Well, let's attend math class. I always find myself wondering what the math is good for. And now we can draw a particular line to this. Uh, is this math class or nap time? Yay, wisdom went up by five. Today is Tantia Batia. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already, I know. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Become a famous artist. I love these first two. Conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Be a dark and mysterious master of the occult. Become a famous artist. Well, easy. Conquer the world by force. I wish to crush all opposition that rise before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Oh, hello. Is that you, Rex? Mr. Naki, you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, please. Alright. Mr. Naki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very... rustic. <laughs> I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left. A somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Yeah, and I'm probably going to wrap things up here now, too. Or was it just my imagination? Today is a live day. What should I do? Attend... 
Let's do another math class. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? I'm hard to say. It might help. It might never help you at all, X. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Integral <laughs> calculus is it educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. There we are. Wisdom's 11 now. That should help it. Today's swim class. All these damp, tight, clinging feathers are making my heart race. Goo goo! Lord, is a human, can you still swim? Yep. Okio-san challenges to a race, and Okio-san has never swum against a humanoid. So you're fast in the water as well as on land? Cool, cool. Naturally, Okio-san is the fastest in all things. Alright then, let's go. Ready, set, go. Swoom. Okio-san is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has stopped ringing in my ears. That's not swimming. Cool, cool. Okio-san is victorious. You are slow, Lord. And so I learned that I would need to re redefine my concept of swimming before going to defeat Okio-san. Wow. We got our finals back today. I'm not sure if I did too well. X! Sir! You didn't do too badly, I think. Yes? You! Never mind. You did badly. Sorry. No! <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? At this point, Master Naki. I'll have to study more from now on. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Mush, mush, mush. Okay, Asan looks excited. And not angry for once, but this is still his. Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans! They're good! Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance su supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Scold him. Join in! These look pretty good. Wish, wish, yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter gatherer's body is their way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. This. Right. There. Very quick. Very fast. That actually went way faster than it did in the PC version. Just that one little shot of the building toppled over. Very fast, hard to catch, but yeah. Alright, and this, folks, is where I'm going to wrap things up. As you can see, I'm going to go save it right now. I do, however, thank you so very much for tuning into this live stream. And if you're watching the YouTube version, thank you for joining me again for more Hattiful Boyfriend. Uh, hopefully this time around we'll be continuing all the way through... Maybe I'll do a couple of playthroughs of this because I do intend to get all the trophies. There's no platinum, unfortunately, but I, I do want the other trophies. But, of course, that's going to do it for today. I thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. And I will catch you next time.